Nottinghamshire is famous for being the place where Robin Hood would poach deer and dodge taxes. And just like every old famous place in the UK, it's also home to a few ghosts. From Wollerton Hall, Trent Bridge, and the National Justice Museum. But of course, the ones we're interested in today are those that hang around Rolleston Station. On the 5th of December, 1874, John Bradwell, a senior church warden, was walking along the rail foot crossing to the other side of the station. Him being almost deaf meant he didn't hear an oncoming train which knocked him down. He was taken to Newark Station where a surgeon was waiting to treat him, but Bradwell died of his injuries by the time he had arrived. Many years later, an accident took place on the station's level crossing involving a train colliding with a lorry. The driver of the lorry was killed in the collision. Ever since, station masters, staff, and local residents have reported seeing several ghosts appearing in and around the station. The first is the ghost of the lorry driver, standing in the place where the accident happened. The other ghost that has been spotted is the phantom of a smartly dressed man carrying a newspaper. The ghost is said to appear on the platform and disappear just as quickly. It is also reported that a ghost train passes through the station from time to time. A crossing keeper was on duty when they heard the sound of a steam locomotive approaching. He could hear it slow down and stop at the station, even smelling the coal and steam. Yet, looking around, he couldn't see a train anywhere. The spirits' presence don't seem malicious, and as such, folks just don't mind them if they see them. We at least have an explanation for why the lorry driver and the ghost train may appear from time to time. However, the gentleman with the newspaper still remains a mystery. For all our sakes though, let's just hope he doesn't look like this. Subscribe for more.